I, obviously, I, I'm not a Jew. I'm a Christian, mm. and I, but I love and respect the Jews. You know, just as as, as we're all humans. So the the problem that I'm trying to help you to see is number one. That, that the problem with what? The problem with. We yeah. don't believe there's any problem. It's, it's okay. Flood. I'll, fin I'll talk with Max. The problem that I was trying to help you to see is with the law, we're all guilty. If we judge ourselves rightly, according to God's law, we've all broken the law. And as, and, and, that, and as the law requires, you shall, he who does not keep all that is written in the, this book of the law will be accursed, won't be blessed. And so all of us deserve to be cursed. But you're right. God is merciful. God is forgiving. God is loving. But the, pro but the dilemma, let's call it a dilemma, not a problem. The paradox is God is perfectly just and he's perfectly loving. So how can a perfectly just judge not punish either a person or a sacrifice? Um, as Isaiah said, your righteous deeds are as filthy rags in my sight. So our, our righteous deeds cannot take away our, our bad deeds. They're still there. Only, as far as I know from the Bible, both the Old Testament, Hebrew Scriptures, and the Christian New Testament. Without blood, there is no forgiveness. And so my concern as a Christian, because I love you, I want to make sure that you know you're forgiven, and that after you die, you do go to heaven. Because I believe there is a place also called hell that the majority of us will go to. So the question is, how can blood, if there's no temple, there's no sacrifice, how can we be forgiven? My answer to that question is, um, there was a sacrifice that I'm saved by. It's not an animal sacrifice that had to be sacrificed daily or yearly and brought into the, the temple, the holy place. It was the one sacrifice that all those lambs were speaking of. The Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, which John the Baptist uh, said is Jesus Christ. And so because God loves us, He became a man in the person of Jesus Christ. He lived the perfect life. That's how we know He's God. He never sinned. He never broke the the, the scriptures, although he did go against the tradition of some of the rabbis when they said, you shall not, uh, you know, the, the commandment is, you shall honor the Sabbath and keep it holy. And th they accused him of breaking the Sabbath, but in fact, he did not break the Sabbath. Because he's the Lord of the Sabbath, he makes the rules, he knows how to keep the rules. Um, yeah, but, but I don't understand about a, that. If you're saying he's not sinful and mm -hmm. the Bible commands us to follow the rabbis, he obviously did not follow the rabbis. The Bible does not command us to follow the rabbi. It does. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> if you can show me, I'll... I'll <laughs> Give me a Bible. I'll it's actually... There you go. There you go. There's an Old Testament and a New Testament. It said it in... Uh, so, it says that you shall listen to the prophets. Those who God speaks to, through, you shall listen to Him. Prophets being the people, the head scholars of, the, of your generation. No, not scholars. Prophets are those who speak for God. Those who say, this is what the Lord says. Interpretation of proxy is not the prophet itself. If you have the prophecy, you see it, and you can interpret it the way it was, because everything has a different meaning. But Even the, the prophecies themselves have different meanings. They do. They and and do. it's possible and to have misinterpret people, it, people, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I believe the inter best interpretation, the right interpretation of the prophets is, they were all speaking of Jesus. Now, I know that sounds radical to you, but if you search the scriptures and, and read the New Testament, it will show you clearly how Jesus fulfilled all of the prophets in his birth. He was born in Bethlehem, uh, just as Malik, uh, Micah 5.2 says. He was raised in Galilee, just as Isaiah 9 says. He will be a light to the Gentiles in Galilee of the nations. Uh, he, was, he was pierced on the cross for our sins, just as Isaiah 53 says. He was pierced for our iniquities, and he was whipped, just as Isaiah 53 says. Not only that, he was risen from the dead, as, as, as Isaiah 53, verse 12 says, that he will, nevertheless, the Lord will prolong his days, he shall see his offspring, because he's redeemed his people. Now, there's two interpretations. One is, the Old Testament is all about Jesus. And then when he came, the eyewitnesses, meaning his students, uh, they wrote down what he said, and they, they saw him risen from the dead, they proved it, they touched the holes in his hand, so one, one interpretation is that Jesus really is the Messiah. The other possibility is, logically, he either is or he isn't. He can't be half Messiah, half not. I believe he is the Messiah, and he has saved me, he's forgiven me of all my sins, because he paid the perfect price by dying for me. And he died for you too. Not, not to condemn you, but to save you. 
That's why he came the first time. But he's coming again to be the judge and to be the king of the world. Why don't I go break commandments if he's going to forgive me? Can't add or subtract. He can't. He added it, also he says, it does say in our Torah, though, that uh, God can't look. be... Wait, 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 let him answer my question. One question at a time. What was your question? Why not? He's going to forgive me. Why don't I just go and have fun and do sins everywhere? <laughs> well, the condition for forgiveness is this. There are two things. I want you to remember these things. So maybe one day you'll need to, to do this. One is you repent. And I think you're already trying to do this. It's, it means to change your mind, to turn from sin. Okay, let me go sin everywhere. And then I'll that's just not, repent. That's, that's not repentance. Well, what is it? Can I, uh, repentance. 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 But he's going to forgive me either way. No, he won't. You just said he's going to forgive us. No, I said the condition for forgiveness is, number one, repentance. That you have, the literal word of that in Greek is metanoia, which means a changed mind. Or teshuva. Yeah, but as John the Baptist said, repent and bring forth fruit in keeping with repentance. And they said, how do we do that? And if he, said, he said, if you steal, steal no longer. If you're, if you're paid, be content with your wages. So it, it means you will not want to sin. Okay, so that's number one, repent. Number two, believe the gospel. And that's an English word from the Greek evan evangelion, the good news. The good news is this, the Messiah came, he died for us, he rose from the dead. So if you, if you, believe, if you believe in Jesus as your sacrifice, then his sacrifice will count for all of the times that you've sinned. But that doesn't mean you can go and sin all that you want. So based on your words, exactly, yeah, based exactly on your what words. you said. You just said if a person steals, okay, then don't so steal anymore. Right. The guy's on his deathbed, he's, he has a cancer patient, he right. he's going to sin. He's on a deathbed. He says, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna steal anymore. He's done. Right. Based on your logic. And God is merciful and he'll save him. Yeah, just like that? Yes. Just by the words, you have to act in yeah. the words also. The, the difficult thing that you're I having cannot, trouble cannot, with. Wait, no, hold on. Can I, okay. I just, yeah. can I just Again, I'm very sorry I cannot quote you, but I can tell you that I've learned it specifically. The, the, word, the, the different verses that you're quoting that he was just and merciful, even those have deeper meanings, different things that are even interpreted differently. And so he knows like differently you're given, smart, given guys. conditions. You know, you know what those um, words mean. So, listen, we know that everything has a deeper meaning, and it's very obvious in some. In a, we don't in a we lot look of between the lines. You have to like look between the lines, just as God even God commanded us to learn it and, de and delve into it. Torah, okay. de delve into Torah. Okay. And so, I've taught the Torah. I'm a Bible college teacher. Like, Rashi, Torah, Rashi, Rashi Tosfos, Rambam, right? Rambam, Rambam. It's, he learned. I, I don't speak Hebrew though. I don't, yeah, yeah, those, Hebrew. Are, those are Hebrew. Those are meanings. The those are commentaries. Those are deeper meanings. Tons. There's, there's thousands. thousands. Of okay. Well, here's what I would challenge you to do. I, I'm, I'm not expecting to convince you or convert you. That's not my goal. My goal is to help you to realize number one, we're all sinners. No one is good. This is true. Except for Jesus Christ. I, he was I, the that last man. part is yeah, like, that part is listen, like you, out of here. I, actually, that's, that's, I understand. That's, that's why millions of people are. Guys, let's be respectful. Let's be respectful. Let's be respectful. Uh -huh. respectful. So, we believe the first piece on it. But the Messiah would be righteous, wouldn't he? Yeah. Of course. But how do you, can I ask you? Well, that's who Jesus said. Can I ask a lot of people? He didn't even follow the commandments to listen to the rabbi. Right. Question. How are you going to tell me he's the Messiah if you didn't follow the rabbi? There is no the rabbi. Listen to the rabbi. The rabbi. So what's the point of rabbi? It's in the Quran. It says in there to listen to your judge, listen to your prophets. Who are prophets nowadays? The rabbis. Listen. Excuse me. You cannot. Actually, in the laws of Messiah, you cannot. You cannot say who the Messiah is unless you have authority through the Jewish people and the rabbi. The Messiah himself cannot claim. From the, the Jewish people, who, who claimed Jesus was the Messiah? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Paul. They were rabbis. Jude. They were ones yes. in charge of Judaism. Uh, Paul they were was, not. They were. They were people Tarsus? of a different sect. Saul of Tarsus. He was a Pharisee of Pharisees. Can the, can the face, can Pharisee you, of Pharisees. Yes. You know, so he was. I didn't take it off the Pharisees for being said that. Then I don't know who Saul of Pharisees is. Oh, can it, can but it, if the, well, all the rabbis, all the majority of rabbis. Say that he, is Jesus, that he is the Messiah, then we do not say he's the Messiah. He cannot claim he's the Messiah. Anybody who does is not the Messiah. So for you, it's a question of authority, right? Exactly. Those are the laws of the and Messiah. you're trusting in today's rabbis rather than the original eyewitnesses who walked with Jesus. Well, we don't have eyewitnesses here anyway. But you have eyewitnesses Explain that wrote you, down the record. Who, who, who are these eyewitnesses? They were not. They were not any uh, rabbinical leadership rabbis yeah, at that people. time. What they were people right? of a different sect who started Hebrew? their own thing. No reason to be here. I read. Yeah, I read Hebrew. Hebrew. Okay. 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 Right now. Okay. You don't need to get upset. our argument not being I'm getting upset. I'm just trying to show you something that doesn't make sense. You're asking. A great question. Uh, I love. Not getting angry. I love this question. This is this is passionate. It's, no, it's we not passionate. This no, is just ridiculous. I'm waiting my turn. Now, now you're getting. Up.
Yeah, he's sorry right about that. Okay. Can, can the face of argument not be an angry Russian? Can, Russian? Can sure. Chill. Yeah, but okay, okay, let's calm down. But let's let's take that question. How do we know that the people who wrote the New Testament have authority to write what they've written? Can I ask you who the witnesses were for the New Testament? One, I can only answer one question wait, at a time. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, but that is but that is connected. Oh, These who witnesses were, were they the majority of the rabbis with the priests? Let, let him speak. 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 Let where is that? Well, we don't Can have I add, that today. And also it's the, supposed to be, it should have came right after. We have, uh, we have wars between, between all the different beliefs. Every, every Christian, Islam, Christian, Judaism, Islam, Judaism, mm -hmm. everybody. Let's take a look at that because you need, like you said, you need to read between the lines sometimes. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 42 is where you're quoting from, I believe. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Let me see if we can... Well, you still never spoke about the rabbinical authority thing. Uh, yeah, I know, but he he put this question. I'm gonna put a few questions. <laughs> you said yeah. one question at a time. Yeah, I, I can question. only ask one, answer one at a time. You're gonna answer mine. I don't think your question is very good, like yeah. specific. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna work if I try to answer more than one at a time. Yeah. But they're all connected, of course. Wish me luck. Okay. I I love oh, this. Twenty more points like to make after them. Yeah. Okay. Here's probably what you're referring to. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my elect one, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit on him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. He will not cry out nor raise his voice, nor will he cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoking flax he will not quench. From Isaiah? Isaiah. Right. Or Isaiah, as the, Brit the, <clears throat> as the Brits say. Isaiah. Um, okay, this isn't the, the exact place where I was, I was thinking that you were quoting from. But, let me... I'm going to do it from memory. There's a time where Jesus of Nazareth went into the synagogue, and this connects with your question. He went into the synagogue that he grew up in, and he was taught by a rabbi. And he, one day he opened the scriptures, scroll of Isaiah, and he found the place that I can't find right now, where it says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, he has anointed me, and anointed means Messiah, right? And Messiah means anointed one. He has anointed me to proclaim liberty to the captives, freedom to prisoners, uh, to give sight to the blind, and Jesus healed people, blind people, uh, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And then he paused. But if you read in the Hebrew scriptures, that's half of a sentence. He stopped there, he rolled up the scroll, and he handed it back to the person who was the attendant, I don't know what you call him, and he said, today this scripture is fulfilled in your presence. And then an argument broke out, saying, "Wow, how does he speak such? How does he speak such eloquent words? Isn't this Jesus, son of Mary, son of Joseph, the carpenter's son, whose mother and brother we know?" And some of them disagreed and said, "You know, how can he be the Messiah?" And then they they rejected him. Many of them led him out to the edge of the city and wanted to push him over a cliff because they didn't believe that the scriptures were fulfilled. So there is a controversy over whether Jesus was Messiah or not. And that's what divides Christians from, even Jewish Christians, from Jewish, uh, I don't know what you call it, Ju Judaism today. I'm waiting to go. Thank you. Yeah. I want to ask you one quick question. Yeah. Are you married? Yes. If you came home, your wife said she was pregnant from God, would you believe her? Wait, no. You if you came home, and the wife said she's pregnant from God, would you believe her? Isaiah don't show me no virgin birth. Tell me, Isaiah nine, six. show me your boy. I don't believe it. Isaiah nine, six. Come on. He's Jesus. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Rabbi, you're Jesus, right? I have to. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay. Come on. Would you check? You, you asked about authority. Yeah, there it is. Can I take? I want to give out to my class. Sure. Okay. Are you Anything crazy? Else? Sit with this guy. Come on. Wait, I want to give out to Tell everybody. The whole world is based on the moms. Let's go. Let's go. I'm giving out to the class. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Okay, support.